This is a video that's been a long time coming. A whole mess of people have requested that I check these fragrances out. Now I finally am. Hey friends, Ash here with Scents, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at four different fragrances from Aaron Terrence Hughes. I have never smelled a fragrance that Aaron Terrence Hughes has done, so each one of these is gonna be the first time that I'm checking them out. I bought each one of these fragrances from Max Aroma. And if you're in the U.S., that may be the easiest way to go about getting Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances. Three of them are like this. 10 milliliter sort of travel slash sample size. And then one is a 50 mil. I've got Patchouli Noir, Blood Orange, and Tabac and Neon. So let's go ahead and do this and check these ones out. I know that some people probably tuned into this hoping that I'm just gonna take shots and, and throw shade and all that stuff, but I don't have any intention of doing that whatsoever. I just really am interested to check these out and see if they're you know, fragrances that really work for me or not. I've only talked to Aaron Terrence Hughes a couple times. We're not friends or anything like that, not enemies either. So the first one I'm gonna check out is Tabac because I'm a big fan of tobacco fragrances. This one came in a little, uh, little box like this just has his logo, tobacco, 10 mils, Aaron Terrence Hughes on the top. It actually has a sticker from Max Aroma on it as well. And this is how the bottle looks. Just a little 10 mil size bottle, kind of a metallic sticker on front. One thing I did notice about these fragrances is that three of them have a clean skin accord in the note breakdown. Actually, the three fragrances that I'm not looking at right now. So not to back, but Blood Orange, Neon, and Patchouli Noir, each one has a clean skin accord. And also something kind of interesting, Patchouli Noir, has a clean skin accord, but then it also has a filth accord. So it's like clean skin, filth. So initial impression when it first hit me was that there was some spiciness in there, but then very, very quickly, uh, the oud from the base of the fragrance is actually coming up. So I'm getting more oud than I am tobacco. There are two tobacco notes here. There's tobacco leaf in the top and then just tobacco in the mid. But in actuality, this is more oud forward, kind of a slightly sweet oud. There's a, a little touch of funk to it, but not anything that's uh, anything that's really gonna repulse people. What I'm trying to say is it's not super dirty. Yeah, it's mainly a semi-sweet oud with a little touch of uh, a little edge to it, a little edge of funkiness, but not bad, and a bit of spice. Not a huge amount of tobacco, as I said a couple times, um, but it still smells pretty nice. I would imagine as it dries down, that maybe the rose comes into play a little bit more. Rose works very well together with oud. That's why you find so many fragrances that do utilize oud and rose and also saffron. So I'd imagine as it dries down, since this oud is so prominent here in the opening, that the rose might come out a little bit more and kind of support that oud. And maybe the tobacco will come out more as well. Next up, let's do neon, since this one is also in a little box. And this one I believe is supposed to be kind of like an attention grabbing fragrance, probably more of uh, like what you would expect from a blue fragrance, uh, you know, people pleasing kind of Sauvage Blue de Chanel. I could be completely wrong. It's just, that's how the description read. So yeah, that's, that's what it is, blue fragrance. So the opening here is not really to my liking as far as blue fragrances go. It has this kind of like cleaning, product smell to it a little bit. The citrus, the way that it's coming across, is, is very much like, you know, just like a cleaning product. Now, this one was $20 for the 10 mil, neon. Uh, tobacco was 40, and then Blood Orange is 30. So, uh, this one is the, the cheapest of the bunch. The opening, I just don't think is very good. It, it's, it's very chemically smelling. I'm gonna let it keep drying down though and see if it gets better, and uh, we'll come back to it. So next, let's do Blood Orange. This one was unboxed, so it didn't come with a little box, but I really don't care about that. This one has a really nice, deep orange opening. It's more realistic smelling, uh, higher quality smelling, in my opinion, than the opening of Neon. Not really close, honestly. And it's got this nice, warm ambergris in here, and it becomes more noticeable as it dries down. It's not super hyper complex, but it is really nice smelling. And this one I would choose for sure over neon in terms of like a warm weather kind of citrus forward scent. Let's let that keep drying and open up Patchouli Noir. So here is your box. 
tube opens up like so, and then bottle oof, sitting down inside there. It's got kind of a nice rubberized finish to the bottle, so that feels pretty cool in the hand. On the top of the cap, you got the Aaron Terrence Hughes logo. Okay, cool. This opens up uh, spicy and like dark chocolate off the top. Actually, a good amount of dark chocolate. Yeah, I like that. So this one was 105 for uh, 50 mil, and um, I dig it, at least here in the opening. Patchouli oftentimes is used to give kind of a chocolatey note in fragrances, so I'm not really a big surprise to have a fragrance here named Patchouli Noir have this big dark chocolate opening, along with spices sprinkled in with that, that dark chocolate. This one also does have what kind of smells like Ambroxan coming out underneath that dark chocolate. I would imagine, if I had to guess, that it's from that clean skin accord in the base of the scent. I know that it also has filth in the base, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Nothing really smells dirty in this fragrance as of right now, just here off the top. I mean, here in the initial opening, I'm starting to get some of the patchouli, but it's not really what I would consider uh, a patchouli fragrance yet. Uh, as it dries down, I'm sure that's gonna come out a lot more and be more prominent in the opening though. It's more of that spicy dark chocolate. But as I mentioned, the dark chocolate really goes hand in hand with patchouli. So let's go ahead and run back through these really quickly and wrap the video up. So we'll go back to tobacco, the first one that I sprayed on. The rose has come out a little bit more, but it's this very kind of deep rose. A little bit of vanilla, but not, not a whole bunch. It's not a, a heavy hand with the vanilla here. Maybe a little more tobacco, but still that oud. That oud is really capturing my attention in here. This one, I think, is really nice. I'm really digging this one. So, tobacco, I like that one. I like how that's going. I like how it's drying down. I like how it opened. That's one I'm gonna keep revisiting, kind of give it some full wearings, see how it goes. But so far, I would say tobacco is really nice. And now, neon. I, I don't like it. I don't like neon. Yeah, yeah, this one just doesn't work for me. It's it's definitely got a youthful edge to it, but for me, it's it's got this real synthetic edge where it just doesn't work. It comes across chemically, like overly sweet, and just not pleasant to smell, honestly. Kind of the type of fragrance that would give me a headache. So neon for me, Mm, no. Now to Blood Orange. This one has a little bit of muskiness coming out, or actually a good amount of muskiness. So it's kind of orange plus musk plus ambergris. That's how it's smelling. Now musk, I don't think is an official note. Clean skin is, so it's nice, but I think tobacco is better. Uh, I think that for me personally, it's not really close, but Blood Orange is definitely better than neon. And then last but not least here, patchouli noir. So it's got this woodiness coming up now. You know, patchouli, woodiness, bits of spice, and uh, the dark chocolate starting to fade back. So now it's becoming more patchouli with woods and some other accenting notes. I think, mm, it's kind of difficult because this is just really, you know, first impressions and, and this could always change. But I think between these two, you know, maybe, maybe I go with Blood Orange. For sure, my favorite is Tabac. Uh, this one I think stands out above the other ones that I have here today. This one is, is really, really good. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe Patchouli Noir. See, I'm just going back and forth between Patchouli Noir and Blood Orange. So maybe just put them like, just right there together. Uh, neon for me of these four is the one that I'm, I'm not interested at all in, in checking out further to back though. I definitely am. I guess let's go ahead and do a giveaway. So I'll give away one of these to back neon or uh, where, where did you go? Oh, here it is. Or blood orange. Now if you win, maybe be a bro and don't take to back. I'll give you these two. How about that? You can win either these two or this one. These two or this one. Hmm? In order to be entered in the giveaway, you have to like this video, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment below. In your comment, tell me which ATH fragrance is your favorite or which one you want to smell the most if you haven't smelled any of them. For me personally, 
I think I want to dig deeper into some of his darker offerings. You know, check those out and see how they go. Maybe pick up a bottle of tobacco over here. Uh, I'm assuming that one of you steals it from me. But yeah, overall, this is uh, solid stuff. I think Neon is the only one that didn't work for me. The other three, good stuff, especially tobacco. That's gonna do it for me. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.